I think it's a pretty invaluable resource because we have an opportunity for people to come into this school and share their stories about their past, their present, and what it does is it's emotive. So once we hook in students with an emotive story, we can begin to actually build upon intellectual concepts. So it's actually a, a way of building learning um, and building empathy. A human library is like any other library, except that the books are real, living people. Human libraries are used around the world as a way to build empathy and understanding between people from diverse backgrounds. The aim of the human library is to reduce bullying and other forms of discrimination by giving people the chance to walk in the shoes of individuals from commonly stereotyped groups. When we get to know people as individuals, the common stereotypes and prejudices fall away and we begin to see our commonalities rather than our differences. The human books have been trained as community educators and know just how to pitch their story for the different readers they encounter. Librarians ensure reading is based on mutual respect and that all books are returned in the same or better condition than when they were borrowed. And I got two, but they didn't do anything. Even didn't talk with me. They just leave me alone and they talk another size on me and listen music. I feel the so sad, and my tear just, um, I just hold my tear, and suddenly I just went to the toilet and cry in the toilet. I feel so lonely, like I feel this is not my home. I really want to run back to my country. You're slow in your words when you talk, and you stagger when you walk. So, mate, you're drunk, and it's like, I'm, for a long time, I couldn't get into pubs and such. So I had a card made up, it's helped me a lot, saying, read the back of the saying I'm difficult with my speech, memory and walking problems. Were you in a coma? So yes, I was in an induced coma for seven weeks. Why was it induced? Just so the brain could heal from obviously the bleeding and swelling and stuff like that. I was born, and there was nothing to say that I wasn't like any other little boy on this planet. Nothing about me physically that I was any different, except by the time I was three or four, about the age where kids begin to really understand that you're a girl and this is what people expect me to be because I'm a girl, you're a boy, this is what people expect of me. I was feeling like I've been ripped off. I was supposed to have been a girl. I'd already been with an employment agency for four years trying to get a job um, and no one would give me the opportunity, not a single person in four years. I even took my disability off my resume, but then once they found out, no, I didn't, I wasn't given an opportunity. So for my work placement, I wrote the back of bibliographies in the back of the library. I'd always been treated normal by my family and was a people person, but then I was segregated out the back, so that wasn't fun. As well as schools, the Hobart Human Library also provides inspirational sessions in workplaces, at conferences and public events. For workplaces, the Human Library is an interactive way to present anti-discrimination and diversity education. For schools, the Human Library Workshop has been designed to support the Respectful Schools and Workplaces framework and is the perfect accompaniment to units in many parts of the curriculum. It is also the first step in a fairer world's broader Respectful Schools education program, Let's Get Together. It's probably the only teaching resource that I've got that's hooked kids in the way this has. Yeah, it's the highlight of my teaching year. I was surprised that people could discriminate against such nice people. They're really nice, but just different. It was very inspirational and just shows that if you put your mind to things, you can pretty much achieve anything. It was so touching, so moving. Um, as I said, everybody in their own story, it just gives you a whole different perspective on life, to be positive, um, to go out there and give it your best. Uh, it's got incredible value, but um, from the school's perspective, it's really about uh, a program such as this being aligned to school policy, to our curriculum, and particularly to the Respectful Schools framework. I think one of the greatest things about it is the partnerships that can be had between schools and organisations such as A Fairer World, um, the resources that they bring into the school, 
and um, that's an incredible thing. This is the second school that I've been at that has had the human library and you see, see the same effect. Uh, very, very um, happy to recommend it to any school. It's a great learning experience for uh, the teaching staff and for students alike. You're representing an organisation and this teaches you how to be a better employee but also how to be a better person in your dealings day to day with your staff, with your colleagues and with the members of the public and in turn that has to reflect better on the company and the business that you're representing. Um, to treat people as individuals, to um, get to know someone before judging them, to um, help people get to know each other and treat each other with a bit of respect and dignity.